Yes, what's going on, dudes? It is David here. We're back with another video now. In this video, guys, we shall be discussing. I don't know what it is about the Atlanta Falcons that just that just doesn't seem to be good drafting good in the past couple of rounds. And when I mean not drafting good, it's drafting positions that we don't really need in terms of that. The last good position that we actually needed was Drake London, but that was a couple of years ago. Last year's draft, we didn't need a running back because we had Tyler Algier, and we went on to draft Bijan Robinson. And this time, we just paid Kirk Cousins $140 million just to take Michael Penix Jr., quarterback out of Washington. And keep in mind, Michael Penix Jr. is also injury prone. He's had one good season at Washington the previous years. He had to transfer because he was injured so much. So we got a quarterback that's getting $140 million, that's just coming off Achilles surgery. And then we got a guy that's supposed to be the future for the Atlanta Falcons. And I do not care if Raheem Morris liked Michael Penix Jr. We could have got Michael Penix Jr. at the beginning of the second round. We really did not need to trade him. He was the worst ranked out of all the six quarterbacks that went in the top 12. If anything, he was five out of six. We had three pass rushers, Leo Tulatu, a guy that the Falcons apparently loved. We had Dallas Turner, a guy that would have transformed our pass rush. And then there's Jared Verse. All these guys ended up going within the space of the next 10 picks. And we dropped the quarterback when we just paid a quarterback $140 million. And even if Kirk Cousins gets injured and we don't use Kirk Cousins this season or next season, by the time Kirk Cousins is going to be gone from Atlanta, his contract will be you know, like at the point where, where we can cut him. Michael Penix Jr. will basically be in the position where he needs to win now. Michael Penix Jr. was not the right pick. The pick was Jared Verse, Leo Tulatu, or Dallas Turner. But this, this, G, this GM doesn't know how to draft. We did not need that position. Last year, we did not need that. We did not need B. John Robinson. B. John Robinson worked out thankfully for us. This year is the definition of where I didn't even make a post about the pick because I was so upset with the pick. A quarterback at pick number eight. When we just paid Kirk Cousins $140 million, we could have got Justin Fields, a guy that was younger. Yes, he may not have the great potential or the opportunity that Kirk Cousins has. But still, he has weapons there. Justin Fields would have costed us a whole lot less. And if we still wanted to take Michael Penix Jr., we could have took Michael Penix Jr. And there's a possibility that Justin Fields may, not even, may have started just one year and that Michael Penix Jr. could have took over there. Kirk Cousins could be Atlanta, at the Atlanta Falcons for the next two to three years. And by that point, I think Michael Penix Jr. will be probably about 27, 28 years old. He's an old quarterback. He's not a young quarterback. Remember, he transferred from a different college before going to Washington. And even then, he's only had, I would probably even say, one good season. He had Romo Dunze. And Romo Dunze is a, a great right receiver who went the next pick to the Chicago Bears. I want to know your opinions down in the comments down below. Do you think that this was a good pick by the Falcons, Michael Penis Jr.? Because I'm not going to say this, and I will stand by this. I stand by the Bijan Ram pick still. I'm not going to, I'm not going to change my mind. B. John Robinson, yes, he worked out for us, but I did not like the B. John Robinson pick. I wanted Anthony Richardson, and we could have traded up to get Anthony Richardson last year, and next year, there could have possibly been another good quarterback class that we could have waited for if we really wanted to replace Kirk, Kirk Cousins, but nope, that did not happen. So, yeah, let me know what your guys' opinions are in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys all next time.